Hello. How are you guys doing? I just wanted to check in. I wanted to say, hey, I wanted to share something that I have been doing that's been helpful. It's not what you expect. Um, how are you guys doing? Seriously. Um, how are your hearts? I know my heart feels really heavy. I feel very aware, like all of us do, of the collective trauma and pain and fear that's going on around us. Um, and for some of us, not just around us, um, very close. And um, so sending love and prayers, there's been a lot of that, sending love and light out um, and doing all the things that I can do that are within my reach. Um, but at the same time, I also wanted to ask how your hands are doing because we have all been told to wash our hands and to practice really good hand health, which means not touching our faces, which I think I've done a couple times already in this video, um, and washing our hands regularly and vigorously for a good 20 seconds, if not more. Um, as many times as you think to wash your hands, do it more than that. That's what we've been told, and that's what I've been doing, and that's what most of us have been doing. Um, and I've always had dry skin. I mean, a lot of us have dry skin, you know what I mean? And I remember when I was in high school, I used to do, there was a trick, I would use Vaseline, and I would do, um, I would cover my hands in Vaseline, and sometimes when I felt like my legs were really dry, I would like take a shower and then cover my body in Vaseline and then put on like some sweatpants. Um, I don't use Vaseline anymore, but I use um, a Vaseline-like, what do you call it, a salve, salve, and I use Bag Bomb. I also have used Egyptian Magic, um, which you can usually buy at like Whole Foods and um, health food stores. But um, I have Egyptian magic and my friend Romy suggested that I buy Bag Bomb, which I just got delivered last week from Amazon. And um, so what I used to do and have resorted to doing again because my fingers, I mean, I feel like my hands have aged like 10 years in the last month, um, which is all worth it. I am absolutely fine with that if that's what it means for me to stay safe and to keep people around me safe. Um, but if this is a time also to practice hand health and, and to be safe and to be loving and gentle and kind with each other, which we also should always be doing, um, it is also a time to be as loving and gentle and kind with ourselves. And I think that includes our hands. So what I've been doing is covering my hands in bag balm. And then this is what I used to do. You do it on your feet. You put on a pair of socks. Um, so I've been putting the white socks on my hands. <laughs> come on, old high school tricks come back to help us. Yeah, a nice clean pair of socks. Put, lather your hands in bag bomb. I like to do it at the end of the night because I don't want sticky hands when I'm doing other stuff. But like once you've finished your day, you got those, I don't know, 10 minutes before you fall off to sleep. You know, you kick your socks off, you can kick them off your hands too. Um, and, <laughs> or you sit in front of the TV, which hasn't been every night in all honesty, but like when I do, I put my, <laughs> and I just sit my hands there. <laughs> you can't do much, um, but it's totally worth it. And it's actually like a little, a little gentle, loving version of self-care um, to replenish the moisture in your hands. So sending you guys tons of love. Look, my lips are dry. I should put some bag balm on my lips. Um, sending you guys tons of love. My fiddle, fiddle leaf fig says hi. I've been um, reunited with this in a great loving way. This fig is a charming, charming creature. Um, bringing me lots of joy. I don't always have a green thumb, but I have to say that I've been caring for this guy. I don't know if it's a he or she, but it's very happy. They're happy. Sending love.